Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and with my business partner Tricon Technology Today I am going to show you the second part of configuring workforce planning application under your enterprise planning budgeting cloud service So, so far we learn how to create EPBCS application, enable workforce module and configure workforce planning application in configuring workforce planning application itself today we are going to talk about some advanced options which include configuring your benefit and taxes so this is what four activities we are going to do today assign salary default for new hire add couple of benefits and taxes configure newly created benefit and taxes and assign default value for benefit and taxes Let's get started. As usual, you start with login to your application. You need to define your domain name, which you receive as part of your configuration and your credential. So once you log in, you find a default screen. I'm going to launch my planning application and will configure by launching services. It takes few seconds to launch the service. So the moment you log in, you find the default option workspace is available on your screen. Click on workspace. And the first thing we are going to configure compensation planning. Click on compensation planning module and define the default for salaries. This is basically a hybrid or this is composite data form. And I'll be using default options under default option you find salary benefit taxes additional earning so let's start with salary default click on salary two default salaries are already defined click on action add we are going to add new salary default so this is basically a business rule you define a grade in the previous session i shown you how to load grades so i use grade 3 define union code and which job role it maps to for which job role you are going to add default salary so I use administrator assistant in this example and the default salary would be associate assigned for administrator assistant job click on launch you would find a new row has been added with new job role administrator assistant so new job role map to unique id union id and the assumption it belongs to grade 3 once this is done we are going to add new benefit and taxes the benefit taxes you can add directly under dimension under your benefit and taxes these are components so as you need based on your project requirement you can add new benefit and taxes so select your dimension component and there we can define total component we have salary grades benefit and taxes i'm going to add a new benefit called retirement benefit you can add new sibling and child there are option available i create new benefit called uh, retirement or there's one more benefit i added call tuition reimbursement there's one benefit some of my employee are eligible for tuition reimbursement keep all the option default data storage property make it store this member to be added under workforce and our reporting and click on save in a similar fashion you can add more benefits i'm going to add taxes as well workforce planning taxes so far we have one tax social security tax or federal uh, insurance tax I'll add one more tax the sibling to this and this is another payroll tax called federal income tax you define the def federal income tax define the alias name of it default alias and you can change other property based on your requirement I'm going to make it a store and keep all the option default so far we added 
one benefit and one tax. The next step we are going to configure is options and tier for newly created benefit and taxes. In order to do this, you can go to your home page and add configuration options and tier under your application. Go to overview and there is an option the dimension member and the respective property called option and tiers. Go to configure, select your module, workflow module, there's an option and tier. So there are two options that are available. I'm going to add more options for uh, tuition reimbursement or maybe you need more option for workforce flexibility different options and taxes so click on add action new option define option name so this is tuition reimbursement rate there are different rates in different countries. This is what I assume. So tuition reimbursement for Canada. Define an alias name. If you need any other properties, time balance, property data, storage, and so on. I'm going to add one more for Canada rate. And there's one more rate I'm going to add for US. So add tuition reimbursement rate for Canada and USA. So I assume there are two different rates. Change other property and click on save. So I got options. You can also add tiers in the same fashion. There are three tiers so far. I like to keep these tiers default. To make this option available, next step we need to refresh our database. So make sure you refresh your database after you modify your dimension members or adding new members. So under action, you can click on refresh database. If everything is good, database refresh will take place, else it will pop up with the error message. So I click on refresh database, it will take few seconds. Click on refresh. Let's wait for refresh database to be completed. So database refresh is done successfully. Now we are going to add the value for benefit and taxes. Once refresh is done, you can also check under job. You find the job got created for refresh database and other two activities we have done for taxes and benefits. Next step, you can define the value for this benefit and taxes. So click on benefit and taxes and there you find newly created benefit Tuition reimbursement is one benefit and taxes. So I click on tuition reimbursement and define the value for tuition reimbursement. Define component type, different rate for tuition reimbursement, how you're going to pay monthly, quarterly, fiscal year, calendar year. I assume tuition reimbursement is done for monthly calendar year. Is it a, fit, is a fixed value or is it based on, on your salary? It's a variable expression or a fixed expression. I assume it's a flat amount. And is it taxable? No, it's not taxable. If it is taxable amount, you can tag it as yes. Similarly, you can define for other reimbursements and benefits. Click next, define the rate of it. Because you put the fixed amount, you can give the constant value. Had you select percentage of salary, you should, you need to define the percentage amount. So tuition reimbursement, I assume it is fixed value for different year. So in Canada and US for year over year. So in US, it is a little higher than Canada. Once you input this value, click on save and proceed next. I 
and in a similar fashion you can check for which year you can input the value for the respective year change year from drop down and select the value similarly you can define for taxes we have done for benefits in a similar fashion you can select for other benefit and taxes as well to apply taxes, change your filter. You have chosen benefit. Select from benefits to taxes. You find all the taxes applicable. So federal income tax is one which we added recently. Click on this and define all defaults. Component type is a rate table or the simple value. Give a rate table. Payment term once in a month. Fixed value or based on certain expression so i give a fixed value click next define these fixed values so for different tiers for selected member define the fixed value for year 11 16 17 18 i'm going to add for tier 1 and you can similarly you can add for more tier different value for all the tiers click save and click next so you define for benefits and taxes both click on save and you can close it so this is in the same fashion you define for different benefits and taxes next i'm going to give value to them so you can go under configuration you can define the default values you can start from your home page under benefit and taxes alternatively in your workspace define the value for different taxes and compensation compensation planning define all default the same way we did for salary so you find salary we already did now you can give a benefit and taxes benefit the newly created benefit is tuition reimbursement make sure the intersection is correct so define value for benefit and taxes click on action to add benefit details type of benefit reimbursement tuition reimbursement for which job title it is mapped to and which union code and you can also define options for USA which job title maps to click on launch a new row would be added over here for benefit in a similar fashion you can add for taxes as well you can define a benefit type so accountant is eligible for two benefit car allowance and tuition reimbursement in addition to this you can define the value for taxes as well taxes Define value for taxes, click on add. So far we have federal insurance tax. And I'm going to add new tax. Which is federal income tax. Which job role it is mapped to, tier and union code. Click on launch. You would find a new created tax is visible over here. And then you need to find the value of it. So this way we have done four activities we added salary default we added new benefit called tuition reimbursement we added a new tax called federal income tax we configure newly created benefits and taxes and assign default value for these benefit and taxes so that's it for today should you have question please feel free to write to bispsolution.com it is support at bispsolution.com thank you